I'm going to show you how to do uh, the front side of worksheet three, which is uh, it has velocity versus time, motion maps, and uh, position versus time, just like the others we've been doing. And there'll be more of tomorrow. And then the test will be uh, covering basically can you graph uh, motion in, in either direction, whether it's positive or negative. Okay, so and this is the front page is just one big long problem. You can see here, it's got a lot of parts to it. So it says a skater is tracked on a coordinate system. So a graph. The following data were obtained. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and plot the data. The time zero, the position was zero. So the time, the position was zero. So it started at position zero. At two seconds, so there's one two, the position was six. At four seconds, the position was 12. Hmm. At six seconds, so six, the position was still 12. So we know that it was moving in a positive direction and stood still for a little while. At the time of eight seconds, it was down at uh, position eight. So it's right here. Okay, so it's zero, five, ten, five, ten on the time. At 10, it was at position 4. So at 10 seconds, it was at position 4. And at 12 seconds, it was at position 0. So it started at 0, moved out a little bit, stood still, and moved back, and ended at 0. So we'll just go ahead and connect all these dots. Oops. <laughs> all right, so we did A. We plotted the position versus time graph for the skater. What's happening during the time interval? Four seconds to six seconds, that's between here and here. What is happening in here? Well, it's in your own words. It's the skater is standing still. What's happening during six seconds to 12 seconds? So that's six to 12, that's in this area here. Well, it's certainly moving in a negative direction. The question is how fast. We can see how much it totally moved. Went from 12 meters back to zero, so it went. It moved negative 12 meters, and it went from six to 12 in six seconds. So our speed or velocity is negative 12 meters over six seconds. So two meters per second in the negative direction, or six seconds. And you can write that however you want. Okay. Now, sketch a graph of the skater's velocity versus time. Well, okay, we know it was going positive at one point and then stood still and then back in the other direction. So we're going to have to have a, a zero velocity versus time here. And we'll go ahead and make this zero in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. And um, I don't know. It's two meters per second here. In the first part, it goes 12 meters in four seconds. It's three meters per second in positive. So we don't need one, two. We know that it went three meters per second in the positive here and two meters per second in negative direction down here. So one, two, three, one, two. All right, so we know that for one, two, three, four seconds, it was going three meters per second. So one, two, three, four. And we know for two seconds, it stood still. Its velocity was zero. So we'll just kind of bring it down here. And for two seconds, it'll have zero velocity. And then we already figured that it was going negative two meters per second for between six and 12. So for six seconds, it was going one, two, three, four, five, six. It was going negative two meters per second. So remember, you got to make the, the all these things tell the same story. The data in the data table tells us this position versus time graph. Um, we can figure out how fast it's going, its velocity at different times. We can do velocity and put it into a graph, but they all say the same thing. Okay, determine the total distance that the skater traveled during the trip. Well, let me show you work. We know that it went from zero. The skater went from zero to twelve stood still, and then came back to zero. So that's, it went 12 meters, it went 12 meters, that's a total of 24 meters. OK. 
calculate the skater's displacement. And remember, if you, you looked it up uh, in previous classes, displacement means how far they've gone, uh, how far they are from where they started. Well, if you look at the graph, they started at zero, moved out, stood still, and moved back. So they started at zero, ended at zero. Their displacement is zero meters. I know they traveled a total of 24 meters, but if you start here, and you go out, and you come back, you really, you're back where you started. There's no displacement. It's uh, like uh, akin to a, a car race, you know. It's the Indy 500 is is 500 miles, so the cars, you know, they go around the track 200 times. Okay, they've gone 500 miles, but since they started here and finished here, it's not like they drove 500 miles down the highway and ended up in Kansas. They they ended where they started, so their displacement is zero. That's the difference between distance and displacement is distance is how far you've gone, displacement is how far you are from where you started. Skaters average velo velocity, well, we know that it was 24 meters total in 12 seconds, so that's 24 divided by 12 is 2 meters per second. Draw a motion map for the skater. Oh, okay. Um, started at zero. We'll do uh, distance of 5, 10. Um, we know that it started at zero and it went out all the way out to 12 meters and stood still. So we'll say this is t equal to zero, this is t equal to four, t equal to two would be right in the middle, this was t equal to six, and then it came back a little bit faster, came all the way back to the beginning at t equal to 12. So they all say the same thing, just in different ways.